In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to synchronize all of your videos. The reason why we want to sync all of our videos is so that they play at the same time. Here you see two clips and an audio file, which isn't synchronized. We both see and hear how the videos isn't in sync with each other. If we try stacking them on top of each other, we can also see that the audio doesn't really match. So, if we try syncing them and then playing them back, you see? Now, let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you exactly how to synchronize your footage. When you come into Premiere, you will have to create a new project. To create a new project, you will go up to the left corner here, create a new project. We'll give that a name like to tutorial 2 and we'll choose a location where it wants to be saved. After this, you'll just press OK. This will open up the Premiere Pro interface. This interface consists of different windows with different kinds of possibilities. We won't be using all of these windows. We will only be using in the left corner here, the project folder, and in the lower middle here, the timeline, and in the upper middle here, the preview panel. So we have two panels that we won't be using. This means that we would use this one in the right corner to set up all the steps that we will be going through in this tutorial. Let's import all your videos that we used for synchronizing. Go to your project folder down in the left corner, right click and click on import. This will open up a new window where you will have to locate all of your videos. So I have these three videos that I want to synchronize. I'll just copy these and click on open. Premiere will now import all of your files into your project folder down in the left corner. If you can't see them all down here, you can go to the top of the project folder and you can drag it up and down to make it bigger or smaller. Now, when all of your videos are imported, you choose your main camera. So in this case, my main camera will be this camera over here. So I'll just take this and drag it onto my timeline like this. This will create a new sequence. This sequence will be used to synchronize all of our videos. If you've been very smart when you were recording all of your videos, you will have some point in your video where you make a loud clapping noise or some kind of other noise that you can synchronize your videos to. But in this case, there is no clapping noise. So I'll have to figure out where I want to synchronize everything to. So let me find somewhere. I found a point in the video where the guy in the middle here says 3, 2, 1, go. So let's just listen to that. Three, two, three, go. So that's fairly easy to match everything up to because it has a rhythm and it's pretty loud. So to get a better look at how the audio or waveforms looks, you can go down to the audio track for the video here, go to the bottom of the audio track on the side where all the icons is and just drag it down. This will expand the audio. You'll have to zoom in. You'll have to take the little circle down here and drag it towards the other circle. So here we can see the waveform for the three, two, one, go. So we'll have to synchronize everything to the go sound right here. So we'll just drag our cursor over to it and it's precisely over here, like we can hear it all. So it's right there and I'll just use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move the cursor one fr one frame to get it right when, I s when he says go. When I hit that, I'll press the M key on my keyboard to create a marker here. This will act as a guideline for where we want to synchronize everything to. Now we have our guideline and we're ready to synchronize another video to this video. To do so, we will have to zoom out again, so we get some more space here. We can make this a little smaller and go over to our project folder over here, take our other video, which is this one, and drag it onto our timeline on top of the other video. It doesn't matter that the video up here changes because we are only focused on the audio because we will be matching the audio to the to the audio of the other video. Now, expand this audio as well. And now you have to figure out where he says the three, two, one, go in this video. So let me just do that. To make this easier for you, 
you can press on the S button over here, which says solo track. This will mean that it's only this track that we'll be playing. This makes it easier to find where he says the 3, 2, 1, go in this video. I found that my 3, 2, 1, go in this video is located right around here. So we have to match that up to the 3, 2, 1, go at our first marker here. To get these two clips to roughly match up, we'll have to decrease the second clip a bit. To do so, you can grab it right here when it shows this little red arrow and just drag it to the part where you want it to be. Or you can go back here and press the C key to bring up the cut tool and just cut it right here. Press the V key, get the selection tool, press it and then press delete. Now you can just grab the clip and drag it to the start of the sequence. And now it's way easier to get them to match up. So now you can see if we zoom in, we have some rough knowledge of where the 3 to 1 go is. So if we play it back here and we have the solo track on the new video here. So we have the go right here and we want the go to be right underneath our marker right here. So we'll have to drag it over there. So if you see this, this it's it roughly matches up. But we want it to be all precise or else you will have this little audio not matching each other and you can hear that very well, very clear. So if I press over here where the marker is, so I get my timeline and then just zoom all the way in so we can see it's just frames when I press on the arrow keys. We can see here that our audio files doesn't match up. And if they don't match up, we will get this echoing sound. And we don't want that. So to avoid that, we'll have to press on our marker here and zoom in again. You'll click on the clip you want to match up to. So we click on the second clip that we want to match to the first clip. So to move this, we'll hold the Alt key and press the arrow key to move the clip one frame. So left arrow will move it one frame to the left and right arrow will move it one frame to the right. So it's right around here. And if we listen to it now, Three, two, eight, go. we can hear the echo is gone. So you can hear both of them, but it's a mixed video channel. And the two videos are matched up. So now your audio is synced up and this means that your video is synced up as well. So now you can just expand your video back here and the two videos will be playing played at the same time. When you have your videos lined up like this, you will just insert the next, next video or audio file underneath here and do the same again and again for every every clip that you have and when you're done you have one long row of a lot of clips where everyone is matched together. To render the video you go down here to new item and create a new sequence. In here you will be selecting the VR because it's VR video and you will select monoscopic and we'll go to the 3840 times 1920 and be sonic and give it a sequence name. And press OK. In here you will be dragging the, the videos that you just cut. So you go into the first sequence and you copy this video. Well, Control C. Press the sequence and paste it. So here we have the video synced to the others. And as you can see here it's a bit zoomed in. But that's because this video was recorded in 8K. So go up here in the left corner, pick effect controls, go to the scale right here and set in 50 and that will scale it down so it fits. So it's actually VR but you can't really s turn around up here. To do that you'll go to the plus right here and you can see this little icon right here. You can take that, drag it down here, I already have it, drag it down here and press OK. Now if you toggle this on, you can move around in the VR world. So that's working. To export this, you will go up to File, Export, Media. 
you will go to choose H264 and you will match highest bit rate and you will give it a name and where you want it to save. So we will just call it sequence one and save there. You will go down here, check the basic video settings, 2840, 1920, that's what we want. Scroll down. This should be checked. Videos VR monoscopic. So that's all good. Take use max and render quality and export. To export a 2D video is a bit different from the 360 video. To export a 2D video, the easiest way to go about it is to go over to your project folder and just click on your 2D video, right click on it and choose new sequence from clip. Premiere will now take all the information that is in the clip and make a new sequence that fits the size of it. When you do this, it automatically imports the original video, so you can just delete that. Go back where you synchronized all of your other videos and copy the uh, video that you just synchronized to the 360 video. Go back to your 2D video uh, sequence that you just created and paste it in here and make sure it starts from the beginning. This clip should now be synchronized to your 360 video and you will be able to export this. When this is done, you can go to File and you go down to Export and press Media. This will open up the window that's seen before. In here you choose the H264 and choose where you want to be and match high bit rate. Choose Use maximum render quality and the basic video settings should tell you if it's full HD, this video is full HD and you can get it in whatever, if you record it in 4K, this would be 4K and you can go down to see that the video is VR is turned off on this one, so this is not a VR video. When all these boxes are checked, you can press export and now you have your rendered 2D video that you can be using by itself. To get the audio, you will just have to get a sequence. It doesn't really matter what resolution, so you press OK and you go into the first and you copy just the audio file and paste it into here. Go to export media again. You will go into format here, take waveform audio and put a name and a location. And that's basically it, and you just export it. So I hope you got something out of this video, and see you in another video.